Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer. Um, I suck at this. <laughs> I've been trying to do this video for months and months now and I think this is try four or five and I just, I hate everything I do, I hate the way I look, I hate the way I sound, but that's common when you're transgender. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while just because I feel it is really important to help ensure that as many of our voices are heard and as many of our experiences are available to others, both to spread awareness and understanding about why we choose to go down this path, because that's what a lot of people think. It's just a choice instead of the only way we can really live moving forward. On top of which, the more stories that we express and put out there for others to hear, the more chance that somebody else who's in a similar situation will hear something that pertains to them and they'll be able to kind of find some answers or some solace or realize this isn't what they need to move forward in their life. So that's really what I've wanted to do for a long time. There's a lot of really great content creators out there who happen to be trans, and they do a great job of putting out really good content. The only downside I have to some of those is that they are definitely geared towards a younger audience. Um, not to say that I am exactly old, but I am almost 40. And that does bring about a lot of differences that some of those creators don't have to worry about yet. Um, if you are able and you have the options to transition when you are younger, fantastic. I have absolutely nothing against that. That allows you to live as who you are for more of your life, and that's fantastic. So no qualms on that front. However, if you don't figure yourself out or you don't understand or you're not able to make the choices you need in order to move forward until you are older, that also brings about a lot of different aspects that a lot of people don't consider, such as having a family, having a career, having a house and mortgage and a bunch of other different aspects to your life that have to be worked out mentally. And honestly, those things shouldn't be a concern to a certain extent, but in a lot of cases, it leads to a lot of extra problems. Doesn't mean to say that in my opinion, transitioning at younger is better or older is better. Each has positives and negatives. If you're older, you likely have access to more financial means to be able to afford your transition. And if you're younger, you get to avoid aspects of puberty and become who you are much earlier in your life. So there's a lot of give and take in that. And that's kind of what I wanted to discuss kind of on this channel. I will definitely talk more about my experience. Um, it's been four years since I really kind of understood myself and started dealing with things. And I'll, I'll say my official medical transition started in 2021. So I am just over two years on HRT. I do have my SRS surgery coming up in 30 days, which I am definitely freaking out about. I work a lot of hours and there's a lot going on and it's it takes a mental toll to prepare yourself for what's coming. <laughs> and so I, I just thought it'd be interesting and good and might be able to help others to bring a group together. I know there's a couple older creators out there um, and it's good. Their stories are fantastic. They've been very helpful for my own understanding um, and kind of figuring out my own journey a little bit. But again, everybody's different. So we all have different things that we bring to the situation that shaped us, that created problems for us, or made things somewhat easier for us. And that's kind of what I wanted to do, as I've alluded to. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to break it up over multiple series. Some of the videos may get a little longer as I do, unfortunately, tend to get a bit long-winded. Um, and and it, it's definitely going to be difficult. I've been in therapy for a lot of different things for a very long time now, um, including helping me accept who I am. And those are all things that I want to talk about um, just to shed light on it and help people understand kind of what's going on potentially with themselves and why these vicious and relentless assaults on any LGBT community are just horrible. 
and it will cost lives. Um, there's no way around it. There's probably already been a massive toll. I've just been trying to avoid as much of that negative news as I can, but it's everywhere and it's really depressing. And the more we can band together and offer support, the better we can weather the storm. Because right now, so many people are looking for any and every excuse to continue to hate us. And there's really no need for that. So this is just a welcome video to say hello. And I look forward to chatting with you in the future. I'm going to try to figure out my setup a little better, but it's probably gonna to have to wait till I'm a little more healed post-operative, um, simply because I don't have a lot of time to do anything during the daytime. And right now at night, it's a quick rush setup. I didn't even get a diffuser on my light, so I'm kind of harsh and peaking and a terrible first impression for everybody. But on my other channel, um, what I like to do, play games, tech reviews, things like that. I do everything casually. I want to avoid scripting a lot of things so that I can just speak from within and convey what's on my mind and what I'm feeling. And it does lead me to miss a few details or forget to mention some things, but it also comes across as more genuine because I'm just speaking about what I feel. And I really want to continue that here. So. If you're interested in anything like that, then stick around, enjoy. Um, I, I don't know how well I'll be able to moderate the comments or what those comments will look like. I'm expecting a lot of hate. I may have to disable comments for a while, but I'd really rather not. If you don't understand a transgender person, I'll do my best to respond and help, provided you are constructive and you are not just flat out hateful, rude, mean. If you want to have a discussion as an adult, then let's have a discussion as an adult. I'm willing to engage. I may not be able to do it right away because I may have to deal with other things and prepare myself, but I want to discuss what people fear about us that bring so much hate because we're not scary. We're just different. And our differences make us special and unique. So... Thank you for watching to this point, and I don't know exactly what's coming next, but I will start going through kind of my story. It's a fairly long story. It's fairly involved with a lot of topics I'm still dealing with in therapy that are very difficult, so I may not go super in-depth up front, maybe down the road if there's enough interest in it, but everybody's special. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.